In this tutorial, I'll show you how we can create this kind of 3D object in your Elementor website. Here you can see a 360 degree view of that object or you can see it from any other angle by dragging your mouse cursor. You can also add this kind of 3D object as a featured product, a hero section background or as any other section inside your website. So without any further ado, let's see how can we make that. Okay, so here we are going to do all of this by using the free version of Elementor. We don't need Elementor Pro or any other extra plugins. So first let's take a an container and make its content width to the full width. And inside that we will take our that 3D object. So for now I will save this and go to an another website sketchfab.com. So here you can get a lot of 3D object which you can use inside your website. So here if you want to find any kind of 3D models like a car, you can add that. So if we choose this one, okay, you can see a 3D model of this car. But here this one is premium. So I want to go to for another one. If I search for bike and here you can also find other one for the bikes. But here I've already chose this one. This one is free. So from here, let's click on this download button. And from here, we need to download this GLTF format. So let's click on here. And here, as we use this free object, so we should also credit the author. So from here, you just need to copy this text and paste it anywhere inside your website. And here, if you don't find any of this object suitable for your website, you can also make a custom one. So for that, you just need to hire a 3D artist and they will build a fully customized 3D object according to your need. Okay. So for now, I will use this one. So here we can see that zip file. I want to rename this to bike and we need to upload that zip file inside our WordPress dashboard and also need to unzip that. But here inside this media library, we cannot unzip a zip file. So for that, you can temporarily use a file manager plugin and after installing that plugin, if we go to its option, here you can see all the folders inside our WordPress installation. So let's go to the WP content, go to uploads and any of these folders. And inside that, we need to upload that zip file. Okay, here is this one. Let's right click on here and unzip that from this option. Now inside this folder, we can see a gltf file so we need to add this file inside our page on here so for this here let's add an html widget and inside that let's paste this code okay we still cannot see anything so inside this code on here we need to add that gltf file link so to add this let's go to here and we need to right click on the get info settings and click on this file link Let's just copy that URL and if we paste it to here, okay, now we can see that 3D model inside our page. And let's save this. If we see it from our preview, from here we can also drag this by our mouse cursor. So we can see it from each and every angle. That's really cool, okay? Now here if you also look at this code snippet, from here you can also adjust the height and width of this object for desktop, the tablet and the mobile devices. And here is also some additional option like if you also want to control the shadow intensity under here, you can also do that. Or if you don't want this auto rotate, you can also disable this by removing this line. Okay. If you also want to know more about this controlling option, you can also visit this website where you can find all the options and you can play around with that. Okay, but for now I want to go back to here and let's delete this. All right, now here on my template shop, here you can see I have also added a featured product view where you can add your 3D model for that product. So after downloading this, here we'll get this zip file. So let's just unzip this and inside this, here we'll get both the container and non-container version. I'm using the new Flexbox container. So let's go to here and upload this one inside this upload option. Let's just drag this and click on insert and click on this left side. 
and here first you need to upload your own gldf file and insert that url on here and here you can see i have also used a background color we have set that from this background option and as i am using their free model so i have also add an attribution inside this page but i suggest you to create your own gldf according to your need so in that case you also don't need this attribution so right now if we save this and from here your visitor can see that product from each and every angle here with this button you can also link it to your product page and on that page you should also add your actual product image because although you are hiring a 3d artist and also make a fully customized 3d model according to your product it's still not the actual product it's the 3d model of that you can add this 3d model inside your featured product section just to attract your visitors about this product and i think they really like these 3d interactions okay so that's all about today if you enjoyed this tutorial then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel thank you so much for watching i'll see you on my next video